with profound humble gratitude and love to all venerated enlightened masters we bow to the almighty in soulful gratefulness for gifting us with their holy blessed presence may all beings be awakened by their divine grace part 1 of 4 Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programas offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barre inclinada schedule. Sade program pesh kar dehan anek pashava. Kirpa dekho suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Sincere repentance, sincere prayer for forgiveness, sincere vegan. Three things. Even the COVID chip would give you some allowance so that you can get help to rescue yourself from hell. So that you don't have to go to hell. And you don't even have to be reborn as a human again to suffer. If you repent... Be vegan. Pray for forgiveness sincerely and remember my name even if you don't ask for initiation or uh, be my disciple. I still can help you. Please keep watching to find out more. Vegan cause we have only one planet. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, all axes also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, Thai, and Ukrainian. When traveling in Brittany, France, thank someone for assistance received by saying "Regarezo idosico," which means "Thank you for your help" in Breton, the native language of the region. My name is Annette. The skillful Bretons are inspired by your sincere aspirations to follow God's commandments. Brittany is the most northwesterly region of France, extending as a peninsula into waters that include the Atlantic Ocean and the English Channel. The area's beauty starts with its more than 2,500 kilometer coastline of spectacular scenery, including picturesque coves and historic harbors. Offshore. are around 800 islands that offer natural tranquility and a relaxing change of pace. This idyllic area is home to the Bretons, a proud Celtic people who have preserved their historic language and culture. Their distinctive heritage has contributed to the region's enchanting folklore and tales which brings to life a magical past of courageous kings, fairies and sacred springs. There are mystical villages here as well as the mysterious forest of Pocelon 
said to be home to the legendary King Arthur and the wizard Merlin. The Bretons have the utmost respect for those who devote their lives to God, along with the seven saints who are considered the ancient founders of the region. Many others are recognized as patron saints. And while Brittany does host annual celebratory festivals, the area is perhaps best known for its pardons. These are religious processions in which Bretons gather to honor the saints in expressions of reverence and thankfulness. It was a pleasure to introduce quaint Brittany to you, pure-hearted viewers. May kindness and compassion for the precious animal people grow in the hearts of all humans. For decades, Supreme Master Ching Hai has illuminated our world with her divine teachings. A fully enlightened master, she imparts the Kuan Yin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within to achieve in one lifetime eternal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. The Kuan Yin method has been practiced by all enlightened masters such as the worshipped world-honored one Shakyamuni Buddha, the worshipped Son of God Jesus Christ, the venerated Master and philosopher Confucius, the venerated Lord Krishna, the venerated Master and philosopher Lao Tzu, the venerated Lord Mahavira, the beloved prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Sri Guru Nanak Devji, and many more. Supreme Master Ching Hai emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others, and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on earth. An extraordinary living example of compassion, she lovingly and regularly sends material and financial assistance to refugees, the homeless, natural disaster victims, and others needing relief. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. Supreme Master Ching Hai receives love and recognition from various organizations, media, governments, individuals, and many awards such as the 2006 Gusi Peace Prize, considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East, the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mahavir Award in 2008, February 22nd and October 25th, both proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day, an honorary citizen of the United States, etc., and has been honored throughout the years with numerous other awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds.
etc. We apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. A true voice for our beautiful animal friends, Supreme Master Ching Hai promotes the peaceful, loving, plant-based diet and envisions with humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life, a tranquil and glorious all-vegan world where people of both animal and human kingdoms live in respectful harmony. Her initiatives included Alternative Living Flyer Distribution, the international vegan restaurant Loving Hut, vegan food companies, vegan fur products, Supreme Master Television, as well as writing and speaking to influential government and media leaders, participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we're aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal people friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Supreme Master Ching Hai has traveled worldwide and held discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. On January 26, 2022, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai spent precious time to share her love and wisdom, answering some questions that members had on various topics. Today we are blessed to present the insightful conference entitled Important Information from the Chief of COVID, Part 4 of 6, on Between Master and Disciples, held in English. When Master saying, I sincerely repent, people in the world may not know what they are repenting for. Um, is it for eating meat or what else? For anything they did that is against the law of the universe, against the Bible, against the Buddha teaching, against Jainism, against Hinduism, against Muslim teachings. All the Master's teachings tell you to live a peaceful life a non-violent life, and treat others as if you treat yourself. So anything you do against that, you have to repent. They have to repent for being a part of the murder and mass of the innocent animal people, or even killing babies, their own, or even making war with other countries, or making war with neighbors, or within the family. Anything they know is wrong. They have to repent. Anything they don't know is wrong. They have to pray to God to also forgive them for what they don't know that they're doing wrong. Just repent what's all wrong and turn vegan. Ask for forgiveness. That's all they have to do. Yes, Master. Sincerely repent for all the wrongdoing, knowing or not knowing, deliberately or unintentionally. Everything that is not right, they have to repent. Even smaller details, like quarreling with neighbors or with family, killing insects, anything they think of, and anything they cannot think of, please just ask God to forgive, because they do not know. 
just repent everything that they did wrong, that they thought wrong, that they have spoken wrong. Actually, just just know that they are no good. Have to repent. If we are all good, the world wouldn't have become what it is right now. That's obvious, no? Yes. 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 And on top of that, they continue warring with each other and with the neighbor's country and oppressing the smaller nations, killing their own babies in millions. My God, it's like a war, an ongoing war. Yes, Master. And yeah. competing with, with the pandemic. Humans are also a big pandemic, ongoing pandemic, continuing pandemic up to now. Yes, mm. Okay, they do what they can. They have to find it in their hearts to be sincere and humble, to pray for forgiveness, and turn vegan to back up their repentance, to prove that they truly repent and want to become a better human being. Yes, yes Master. Master. Any negative thought that is not virtuous, not noble, not kind, not nice, all that is also needs to be repented. Mm. That sounds like after everyone repents, Master, they would have to keep the perfect way to live. Lifestyle, yeah. From then on. Yeah, of course. Of course, that's what repent means. Yes. And ask for forgiveness. If you do it again, then what for you repent and what for you ask for forgiveness? You can't be forgiven forever. I mean, people have to turn around and continue that benevolent way of life. Yes, Master. And be morally aware. Yes. Just read the Bible. Very simple, the Ten Commandments. Read Buddhist sutras. Also, the Five or Ten Commandments. Five is the shortest, but it also uh, comprises together the Ten Commandments. All together ten, the basic, okay? Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. Just more explained, more clear in the Ten Commandments. But Five Commandments is the basic. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. And extend it a little bit more is ten. Five more commandments, but it's all similar. I mean, if you keep the five commandments from Buddhism, that should be okay. And you have to truly be vigilant, otherwise the mind always wonder or tells you to do this, do that, you know, and the negative power is surrounding always whispering in your ear, tempting you to do wrong. You always have to keep God in your heart. You don't have to be my disciple. This is what the COVID chief told me, that my disciples are spared, everyone else not. It's not me who said that. Imagine if I have to take on the whole world as my disciples. No. It's not what I really wish for. I don't know if I will survive if all people become my disciples. Yes, yes. Master. So it's not like I want to advertise for myself. Right, Master. You know, it's not easy to be my disciples either, even though it looks so. It is easy, but they don't keep it. Yes, Master. Yes. Even the COVID chief criticized him. Yes, yes, Master. Don't meditate, don't respect my teaching, meaning they don't practice what I taught. I saw that evidence everywhere. Often, whenever I have a chance, I saw evidence of them not respecting the teaching, meaning not practicing what they have been taught. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very carelessly, as I told you already, like buying me face cream with honey in it. Yes. For example, like that. That's just one of those things. And you have to put English labels of the ingredients onto other products so that other people can read, not just the Chinese. Yes, yes master. master. Because English is easier for everyone to check, and it's the most uh, spoken in the whole world. Yes. yes. Right. It just happened that way. I guess because English is simple. Yes. yes. Simple, easy, and there's so much beautiful music in English, yeah? Mm -hmm. And people love music. Even though many people don't speak English at all, but they sing English songs. <laughs> yes. I met them, you know, on my travels. And I thought they spoke English very well. <laughs> so I talked to them in English, but they, they <laughs> so, so bad, they didn't know what it's. <laughs> we don't understand, okay? I said, but you just sang so perfectly in English. He said, well, I, I copy that from, <laughs> from the disc, yeah? But I don't speak English, you know? That's all I could say. 
I don't speak English. I copy. Mm-hmm. Copy the song. <laughs> um, it's, of course, very difficult for people to understand what they have to repent. Yeah. But just turn vegan first, and then things will become more clear. That's right, Mark. Yeah. Right. yeah, you just naturally become more loving, more kind, more uh, understanding about things. Yes. yes. And more benevolent toward all others. Yeah, more understanding and have sympathy with their suffering. Yes. Yeah, that's what it is. Before, I ate vegetarian, but I did not understand that eggs are not a vegetarian. Yes. yes. Until one day, heaven taught me they, they make the eggs so foul mm. that I vomited. Mm. Yeah. So from then, I don't eat them anymore. And that's the thing that I gave up. But other things I didn't have anyway already for a long time. Milk and other stuff. Yes. Yes. Now and then, you know, if I'm with some people together and don't have anything else, I will eat one piece also. But very rare. You see what I'm saying? I don't like them. The smell. Yes. yes. And then I didn't want to look uncivilized. I don't know what milk is. I don't know what cheese is. You know what I'm saying? Yes. <laughs> you know, the ego stuff. You have to do it with everybody else. Otherwise, they think you're backward or something. Yes. yes. This ego stuff. When I was younger, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But lately, nowadays, even they make these fake fish or fake shrimp, and it stinks like from the ocean. (laughs) And I could not eat it. Right. It doesn't taste, I just don't want to eat it. Even seaweed, nowadays, I can't eat anymore. It stinks so. Before, it didn't stink to me. It's a vegan. But you just become more sensitive. Yes. And then you will regain more of your real taste for freedom, for compassion, for enlightenment, for spiritual longing, for God longing, for heaven yearning. All that will come if you turn vegan, at least first, and then pray to God to guide you further. I'm not asking all this in this urgent early morning call to wake you up for me, for the people to become my disciples or anything at all for myself. It's just for the people, truly, for the world to understand and to wake up. Just try your best to sincerely say whatever I did wrong. Please, I sincerely repent. And whatever I know is wrong, I won't do it again. Just forgive me and turn vegan. Ask God for help. God will help if you sincerely ask. Yes, yes, Even we humans, when we lost on the road or we uh, cannot do some heavy task or something, we ask another human and he or she would help. How would God not help if you sincerely and desperately need? Yes, 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 yes. Just worry that we are not sincere. So please, sincerely repent. Sincerely pray for forgiveness. And... Be a sincere vegan. Sincere repentance. Sincere prayer for forgiveness. Sincere vegan. Three things. Even the COVID chip would give you some allowance so that you can get help to rescue yourself from hell so that you don't have to go to hell. And you don't even have to be reborn as a human again to suffer. If you repent, be vegan, pray for forgiveness sincerely, and remember my name, even if you don't ask for initiation or be my disciple. I still can help you. That's all I can say to the world people out there. More I cannot do. They have to also help themselves. Any more questions? Up to the 77 years, Master? Um, 72 years, yes. Ah, okay. So the nurse is allowed to be reborn again in 72 years. Yes. Yeah. At that time, the world is clearing out already. No more sickness, and he'll be fine. He doesn't have to work so hard anymore, or sacrifice too much anymore. Right. But that's all he can have. He's allowed to be in heaven for 72 years only, because he was so good, Oh. so kind. Went to above his duty. Yes. Because mm. he was not vegan. So he can't be in heaven forever. So kindness and love, affection, sympathy towards others 
It's not enough. It's not a sufficient condition mm. to guarantee you heaven forever. But that's very good already. Yes. Yes. 72 years in heaven. In the 72 years, I, I said he will be born again in what? I forgot. 2094. 2094. Oh, okay, 2094. Yeah, okay, that's good then. Uh, in 2099, the world will have no more COVID, right? Yes, yes. yes. Okay, okay. So it will be born a little earlier then. But at the end already. Yes. yes. It will be winding down the COVID. Wow, 77 years long. It's almost a century, man. Yeah. We won't be there anymore. We just try to save people now, not waiting till that time when 91% are all gone. Yes. Yes. I told you. Even though I knew that, but to be confirmed by this sort of reliable information, the entity, is really a shock to me also. Yes. Yes. I couldn't wait for you until after you've done your morning meditation. I called you up earlier, so it's all right, one time. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Someone says, well, what's God's will? God's will is to eat a vegan diet. The Reverend Father Donatello Ioko, vegan. Tomorrow on Between Master and Disciples. I told you, it's just, life is so, so very impermanent. Everybody thinks they will live here forever and they hoarding things, they warring stealing and threatening each other with might. And instead of using money for their citizens, they use it to develop more and more lethal weapons just to kill other citizens. Yes. You have to develop to the point that other country citizens are just like yours. Yes, Master. You have to look upon them just like your citizens. Cherished viewers, we thank you for your company for today's episode entitled Important Information from the Chief of COVID, Part 4 of 6, on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is Virtue and Integrity, Selections from the Apology of Socrates, by Plato, Vegetarian, Part 1 of 2, on Words of Wisdom, right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May your pursuit of the righteous way of living enhance every aspect of your lives. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash bmd.